You know what Barker is. There'll be a black curtain here, you won't be seen. You've got the red and white. You'll be standing <laughs> just here, <laughs> off uh, to United's side, and we'll cue you. When we cue you, you've got about five or six seconds. So last year I came in, and for once, I had my eyes on trying to win the show. Came second to Eddie, which wasn't a surprise to many people. Um, but I, I did believe on the day I had I'd what it took to beat him. It just wasn't my day. You know, the half a second, the one reps, all in his favour. Um, and in the end, he, he won by quite a bit of a cushion. So with him retiring, um, you know, it opened up the door for myself and others to, to, to win the title this year. Um, so I just made sure that I knuckled down. You know, I've got this unit now just so that I can prepare for these contests a little bit better. And I just felt that like I'd, I'd prepared and I hadn't really left many, uns many stones unturned. The five events that was coming, I was prepared for. And I was excited, you know, it's nice to go into a show with five events that you're kind of excited for. You don't fear any of the events. Um, and I just felt good, had no injuries. I had a good, had a good week build up, good sleep, good food. And, uh, you know, everything went to plan on the day and um, I got the win that I was there to go and get. So I'll just I'll try and get warm on that and then I'll just go up to a few singles to 150. I think it's usually good to feel Conway on a block. For me anyway, because 150 is like 75%, less than 75% of my max. So, so somehow I would do on a deadlift. I mean, 320 for red, it's not like It's just timing, you know, like right time to warm up because we've got to walk out as well and then, then obviously the, the event starts. So. Try not to do too much too soon. Try not to do too little too late. So first event's log for reps, uh, 150 kilos, 60 seconds. Uh, you know, log for reps was never a good thing for me in the past. Just never really, never really trained it properly. Never really enjoyed training it properly either because it's always the, it's, it's getting the lungs, it's getting the heart, it's uncomfortable. I was always more comfortable just lifting heavy for a couple of reps and putting it back down. Always better at a max one rep. But I prepared well for this and, you know, my fitness had improved massively. Um, I'd done eight reps in training. Um, I could probably do more, but obviously past the 60 seconds. So on the day, I, I, I was like eight reps minimum. Hopefully I can get nine. Um, and when I got the eighth rep in the contest, I sort of put it down. I did look up to, to sort of have someone tell me, you know, you've got five seconds, you've got 10 seconds. Didn't either nobody said it or I didn't hear it. Um, before I knew it, the, you know, it was too late and the whistle was going. Uh, but, you know, eight reps was the target. It's the best I've done. Had I done less, I'd have been disappointed in myself because it's, you know, it's, I'm capable of more. So, um, Luke got eight and we shared first place. Um, but, you know, in my heart, I know that I should be sort of winning, being the outright winner on a log press, whether it's reps or max, um, just because I believe I'm one of the best in the world at log. So on the, on the log lift, uh, I think Bishop got four reps, uh, which placed him quite low down. It was, it was obviously a bit of a disappointment to him. But it's never been known as a, a, a strength, his overhead pressing. I know he's probably put a lot of work in in the past. 
Um, but that means that, you know, going forward, he had his work cut out of the show. Um, by no means meant that I was going to put my foot off the gas, whether I'd won the log and had a cushion on him or not. From the man on platform two. I think he was lazy. He only did eight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, eight repetitions, Graham Hicks. So it was, and we're going to go over to Dave Wall and see how Lauren started. Uh, Lauren's got six repetitions. Six repetitions. Let's catch a quick word with Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, raise it up for Graham. So uh, he came out the next event and absolutely blew everyone away on the frame carry and uh, sent a, a message to everyone really to say like I'm, I'm here and there's still three events left. Um, so when I saw his run, and I saw everyone else's run, I thought this was probably the most important event for me all day. Um, because with such close times, had I finished lower down, um, it would have given Adam the boost he much needed, much sooner in the contest. So I, I told myself I have to come second. Um, any less than second is, is, uh, is unacceptable. I would love to have won it. You know, training had been going really well for frame. But, you know, I got 9.1, Adam got 8.2. And to shave a second off is, you know, that's, it's pretty special. Um, so I, I was very happy with my second place on that event. And I do think that event really was what, not won the show, because obviously there's four events, but it was the one that it could have gone the wrong way for me. Um, if I'd have had a bad start or a slip up or you know just not had a good run, I could have you know made everything a lot harder for me on that day. first in the log press that puts you in the lead fantastic shape you got to be feeling great right now yeah pretty fantastic you know uh, I actually took a really s slight stumble at the start I think it slowed me down but I knew once I got going I'd make up for it so I wanted to win really but second other Adam's fast I'll give him that event well you came here with a mission what's gonna happen in third event you're gonna keep up the momentum I think this third event's going to be brutal. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good deadlifters, as there is loglifters in this field. So you're going to see another rep fest. I think we're going to have to work hard for these points on this next event. Well, you've already worked really hard. Fantastic effort. Round of applause for Graham Hicks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Graham Hicks, second place. I think Bish is six and a half points behind me. But I put my mortgage on him winning the deadlift. Uh, that's not me being, you know, giving up, giving up the fight. I know how good he is at deadlift, so I've just got to. I'll be going out last. Way up what I've got to do. And make sure I do enough to keep a good lead. You know, I need to make sure that I keep my nose in front until the stones, because I feel confident on stones, and I know that if I'm in the lead coming at the stones, then. You know, it's mine to lose then. So I've had a good start. I actually wanted to win the frame, but 8.26 was phenomenal. You know, 
you can't give it away from Bishop. He had a perfect start. His acceleration was excellent. You know, I had a bad start, but my acceleration was good. So, just glad I didn't lose any other more points other to, the, to him, really. We'll get one up for deadlifts. So, so, after the frame carry, we had deadlifts. 320 kilo axle for reps. Um, and I, I enjoy training on an axle. I've been training on an axle for quite a while. Um, but again, reps just never always suited me. It was always better. I, I do believe in that in that field that I'm probably, at the moment, the biggest puller, max puller. Uh, so when it comes to reps, uh, uh, you favour Bish, you favour Felix. So I just thought that to myself in training, I was, I, I'd, I'd have to get 10 minimum and at least do not accept any less than third. And as it happens, I came, you know, I came out with Adam, um, we were head to head. Felix had 11 and the rest of the field had nine or less. So I knew 10 was, was the acceptable amount. Um, and I got to nine, uh, I think there's 10 seconds left and I just managed to get that last rep out. Um, so, you know, again, the, the plan was all going to plan. Um, I didn't fail anything that I was supposed to. And I still had a lead going into the fourth event, albeit that Adam won the deadlift after winning the frame and closed the gap on me going into, into loading. I think the gap was then four and a half points going into the loading race. The of Adam Bishop seems to be almost perfection. He is looking so good here. 30 seconds to go, and Bishop is still pulling clean. Hicks having to hitch there, but he gets the down signal. 20 seconds. 20 seconds left. Who will step forward into the light? Who will claim it? Time to dig down, guys. You got time. Bishop, 10 seconds remain. One more, remain. Bishop. One more. Adam Bishop needs that support right in the bar. Takes that lift, gets the down signal. Wow! What a performance. Let's check in with the referee. Some massive numbers there, I'm sure. That is interesting. Graham Hicks, 10 repetitions. Ooh, Hicks with 10. 12. 12 repetitions, Adam Bishop. That is his second win. Graham, he's 10 repetitions. He's still in first place. You're probably not real happy with that performance. You didn't want it first, possibly. But come on, you're in there, man. You're in the lead after the third event. I mean, that, that was tough. You know, we've done log first for reps. We've done frame. A lot of us have got jelly legs, so to do double figures, I'm happy. I wanted 10. 10 was my goal because it gave me clear third place. Uh, and I wouldn't settle for any less, so I did what I needed to do. But with that kind of performance through all three, you're making everybody proud, you know that. Graham Hicks, ladies and gentlemen, 10 repetitions, your leader after three events. I've always been very, placed very, very high at loading, um, but everyone else seems to be getting very good at loading. Uh, but I, I trained it quite a lot this time, uh, but seeing everyone do the loading race, I realised it was significantly harder than the year before. I don't know if it was just because of the, the, the fact that it was deadlift for reps, the event before, and on an axle, which seems to be a little bit more harsh on your, uh, your hamstrings. Um, so I'd always said top six for me on loading uh, should set me up okay for stones. I came six um, and Bish came fourth. I was head to head with Lawrence uh, and I kind of was racing Lawrence in my head, you know, I wasn't just racing myself, I got in front of him and I, and I just thought as long as I, I finish before Lawrence I know that I'm kind of going to be in a good place in, uh, I think Lawrence maybe come seventh, so and, and, and the, the important one was Bish came fourth and uh, gained another two points on me but I still had a cushion going into the stones.
I feel okay, body's a bit beat up. Uh, I think we've all sort of underestimated just how the reps and the loading and the speed, just how pumped up everything is. You know, I've never really been one to get on a massage bed during the show, I've never really needed it. Uh, I suppose that's what happens when you've got to do a lot of reps. Well, I, I said to myself, top six on the loading. I knew how difficult it was going to be. Uh, there was some flipping phenomenal loading races there. I mean, Tom was ridiculous. Yeah. As was Luke. You know, you can tell that they train it a lot, and uh, I've got to really take that away a little bit, and you know, maybe do that a little bit more. I mean, I've I've done loading training, and I'm fitter than I've been. But they were a league above, really. Two and a, two and a half points ahead. It doesn't really fucking matter. It's whoever wins out of Stones, me versus Bish. Strongest man. Stone training has been going well. Um, I've been, you know, one motion stones really fast, really strong. But as the build up occurred and as people went out and were doing stones, and the more I thought about it, uh, two and a half point gap. I know Bish will have been training these stones hard because he's, he's disappointed, obviously, at World's Strongest Man last year with his stones. And I think in a couple of other shows, he'd said that his stones weren't good enough. So I know he would have been training stones hard. So he'd have been on for a fast time. Um, so me and him were out going out last. And I just told myself again, don't make a mistake. Last year, I, I went mental. I went, I went fast on the first three. I was much faster than Eddie. Got to the fourth stone. Didn't quite grab it right. Didn't miss, miss the hole. And then... Before I know it, Eddie's put the fifth stone up. And, uh, you know, just a little error, such a small error, cost me maybe three seconds. So I thought this year, just make sure that the stones go in the hole and uh, obviously pace myself, don't go too slow. Uh, so as we're going, I'm making sure that I'm, I'm keeping up with Adam. I can see his stone going in, my stone going in. Uh, he was almost neck and neck. Then I got to the fifth stone faster and then he just seemed to put the foot on the gas and got his in like half a second to a second on me. In by Hicks. It's got to be so tight on this last stop. Hicks was close. Kind of knew I'd won and then didn't, and then I knew I'd won and then didn't. It was a really strange feeling because. And we were so close, I, I was thinking, surely no, no two people have got between me and him. Uh, but until someone confirmed it, obviously, that every second that went on before somebody told me, there was another second of doubt. So, uh, but you know, Dave Warner came over, the referee, and uh, didn't tell me my time, just shook my hand and said, uh, congratulations, champ, you know. And uh, it, was, it, it, was, it was a really surreal feeling. Um, I'd been planning on that feeling for, for ages. I actually, you know, my reaction, I always thought it was going to be a big cheer or a roar or, but you know, it was just a huge smile inside. And uh, it was nice to go over and see my wife and my son. And, you know, my wife is very teary because, you know, she wants me to do well. She, like, she, she probably gets more nervous than anybody watching me compete. Uh, and it was nice that I could, I could you know, be sitting there in the lounge for God, God knows the last six months there and I wanted to win this show. So to be able to win it, you know, uh, not have to wait another year, it was nice. Um, and, I, and I just think the whole performance of the day was somewhat different to what I've done in the past. You know, I don't just, didn't just turn up, didn't just do my best on that event. You know, I had a lot more thought going into everything. I had a plan on every event. I tried to keep a cool head on the stones. You know, I just tried to be a little bit more professional about my, my performance. Even reflecting on the five events, I still believe I could do better on them all. Even now, you know, set this the competition up tomorrow and I would, I would tell myself I could do better on all the events. Um, but, you know, the, you see these shows, you see, you see World's Strongest Man finals, it's usually the one that's made the less mistakes who's winning. 
and uh, I just I just took that in with me to the show and just made sure that I didn't make any mistakes this time.